Hey guys, welcome to Newton School. I Abhishek welcome you all to my YouTube channel. So, we are studying recursion. If you have forgot, okay, or if this is your first video you are watching on my channel, channel, this is the I think the fourth video on recursion. You can say fifth. The first was the intro video. So, like uh, we are discussing uh, problems on recursion. So basically, we are trying to figure out what does recursion mean. Like uh, we understand loops. Similarly, we are understanding recursion. And after understanding a few more problems, we'll start with developing our logics. Okay, like we'll have some problems, we'll solve it and proceed ahead. Okay, so before we proceed ahead, so as you guys know, we are bring we are able to bring you this amazing course because of Newton School. So don't forget to like, subscribe the video, and share it among your friends. Newton School is a great platform which not only help you guys to get a good. Uh, knowledge about tech but also helps you to build a career in tech like after uh, their course of about six months they help you to get placed with a package of five lakhs or more okay if you already have a higher package of course your package will include increase like generally 2x 3x even 4x the package increases okay and of course every time whenever you are watching the videos if you are watching the videos as of now no problem we are running we, our batches are running our batch runs almost every month in case if you want to check out the details you can check out in the comment sections okay the or in the video description details will be there and you can join our batches the cost is totally free yeah you heard it right no cost until you get placed with a package of five lakhs or above or as decided by you and the newton school team okay so that's all now let's get started awesome so we are here in the like for the fourth problem of recursion okay so let me create an algorithm playground in case you are wondering what is this this is, this is newton school playground how to access it just i think uh, uh, just if you sign up to our dashboard which is the link is given in the uh, description you can access this okay or you can even able to see the link right okay so let's have a like what do you say recursion right so recursion problem four right problem four p4 that this part should not be compulsory right okay so finally it's loading <coughs> and by default it's plain text like who will write a plain text like this but okay like if i have to write a plain text i'll choose notepad instead of coming to this okay they have made it we should appreciate their effort okay so where are you javascript let's give it a search just j for javascript right awesome awesome guys so we are here great so guys this is a problem okay and the problem that we are going to analyze okay step number one this is a fourth video in case you have not seen the my first three video do check out uh, like you will get the all the videos in the playlist name recursion okay anyway so uh, like this will be a very interesting problem like this will clear most of your concept of recursion like how does recursion works each and everything okay so understand nicely okay so now so this this is a problem for not for of course we are not using loops we are using recursion right? function let's give it a name like print numbers And we have a simple base condition if n is equal equal zero empty return awesome else what we are we are doing i am like calling the function again and minus one printing the value okay and then again print numbers and minus one perfect and then finally sorry i mean to say call it what is the name print numbers let's suppose i am passing two like uh, so because like if i pass a big number it will be too big and it will be difficult for you guys to figure it out with two you can easily figure it out okay so let's continue okay so to be honest at this place it's quite difficult to explain because there will be quite rubbing and all that like i'll be uh, writing and rubbing it few times so of course my digital board is ready 
if you are wondering which browser I am using, of course I am using Microsoft Edge. No company promotion. What I'll do, I'll quickly take a screenshot of this and put it here so that you can understand. At this point I cannot explain, you will understand other problems I explained there, but why not this problem? Right, so now it's loading, let it load. Awesome, let it get smaller a little, hey man, please get smaller. And this is smaller point, right? And let's put it here. So have a look at the code, and now let's analyze it. <laughs> okay, guys, step number one. I'll make the things one by one. Now why? Like you will understand. Okay. So initially what will happen? The function is p2, no? So I of course if you are wondering what is p, just have taken a short form of me. Being lazy, like who will write so big name? So p2 that means the value of n is 2, right? You'll say yes. N is 2, then this condition is false. I'll come to line number 6. Line number 6 will call print 1. And I cannot proceed until I calculate this value as you know and once I calculate I have to come to line number seven you'll say yes this is how you should do it then I'll come to the next one because I cannot proceed so I have to calculate p1 and is equals to one then it will be like you will say p0 now I don't know the value of p0 again p0 and again, once I know the value of P0, I'll return to line number 7. Then finally, let's calculate the value of P0. And I'll be like, okay, let's calculate it. P0 will be like, okay, we know what is going to happen with 0. We'll just give it an empty return every time. Sad life for 0, right? Okay, so this is 0. Okay, so 0 means empty return. No value is returned. Okay, so no value is returned. So I am here. No value is returned. And we are to line number 7 console.log n. What is n? You will say n is 1. Okay, so let's print it. So what I'm just writing the answer here. Whatever is getting printed, I'll print it here. And then again back to white. Okay, so 1 is getting 1 got printed. Why? Because n is 1 and we are printing it. Then again line number 8. Okay, we are going here. So before, remember I have to go to line number 8 now. So before proceeding here, one thing that you should remember. Once a block, once the work of a particular cell is over, that cell is basically getting erased from computer memory. Computer does not store it for a while. Once the work is done, get lost. As simple as that. Okay. So this is done. The work is completed of this, right? So this is getting erased. As simple as that. But now it has to go to line number 8, right? So I'll say okay. So this is no problem, P1 is there. We have not got the value of P1 finally, but that part got over, right? Okay. So console.log n, so or what I'll do, just to keep it more simple, that's so that you can understand, this was like n is equals to one, P0 was there, so that value we know, and then it was earlier line number seven. Let's keep it like this. So till this part, the work is over because we have printed it. So I'll just cancel this. I'll make a new box. Technically that old box is no longer there, Okay, that is deleted, but I'm just so that you don't get confused. I'm creating a box down. Okay, basically this is the same box that will be created here. Okay, then I'll go. In, I'll be going to line number eight, which will be p zero. Why? Because n is one, so n minus one p zero, and then I'll come back to line number nine. So now you can understand why writing a line number is required, right? Awesome. So now, guys, okay, let's have a look. So we are here, so now you'll say, okay, P0, then again I have to calculate P0, why? We just calculated P0 a while ago. I'll say, yes, you calculated P0, but that P0 got deleted from the computer memory, no? As soon as the calculation is done, computer gives you the value and like I am vanished, okay, completely deleted from computer memory. Okay, <coughs> so this is zero. So N is zero, then what will happen? Like uh, zero, then it will give you an empty return. 
like okay no problem the return is empty then i'll go to line number nine which is the end so this is over so now you realize the work of these things are over so it's over so computer has deleted all these things why because the work of these has got over they will it will not store it forever okay simple if you know stack basically it has got popped out else it, you can take it like it's got deleted so now we are here what was the value of p1 you will say empty no value of p1 because it did not return you anything we are got coming to line number seven console.login what is the value of n2 so two got printed like, <laughs> like yes yeah then i am to line number seven that is done right so i'll go this part work is over but again i'm going here print numbers n minus one that means p one because n is two so print number n minus one n minus one that is p one and then i'll go to line number nine so now p one need to be calculated can only this will end we'll say p one was already calculated but the problem was as i told it was calculated but computer deleted it okay computer don't know that again p1 is going to come it is not storing it right it should but it is not okay so sad for computer it has to work again right p1 that means n is 1 okay and line number 6 we will be landing in that which is p0 which i don't know once you know it return to line number 7 for now let's calculate p0 okay p please come properly P0 that means n is equals to 0. n is equals to 0, right? So now what will happen? This is P0, right? Hmm. So here it will return you empty, like usual, n is 0. So as usual, return empty. 0 is like we don't ever care about 0, always returning empty. No problem. The empty return is there. Line number 7. Console.log n. That means n is getting printed. What is n? 1. So one got printed. Line number seven is done. So the work of this is over. Technically the work of this is over, but I'm not deleting it. I'm making a new box, which is again, n is one only, but we are going to line number. So we'll, till line number seven, the work is over line number eight, no? So P, C. And then finally we'll go to line number nine. Again, we have to calculate P zero. P0 that means n is equal to 0 it will give you empty return empty return means no value so line number 9 is the end so this is over so these all things are over right so it will be like yes these all things are over why am I rubbing it so that you can understand that these things are getting deleted from computer memory as soon as their work is over so p1 did not give you anything line number nine which is the end so this is also over so it is also got deleted so finally your answer is one to one so i have a simple question do let me in a comment at that time how many cells were maximum required options are one two three four or you can have like five six five six seven okay so one to eight are the options select one answer as simple as that okay so this is great this was the like the what do you say uh, i mean to say the stack method now let's look at the three method like i know many of you want me to explain again but i think since this is a video the good thing is you can watch it again right so yeah awesome so now this will be you will say p2 so these are three lines this will be p1 this will be 2 and this will be p1 this p1 will be p0 in case if you are not understanding this three just look out my previous video you understand how this tree is getting made okay so this will be like what do you say one p0 p0 is the end now it will stop this is two so this will be no problem this is like again p0 same thing is getting repeated no? one and p0 So what is the answer? I will come like this, come like this, come like this, this, this. Out here is the one. Here you got two. Here you got one. Answer is one, two, one. Perfect.
with both the methods. I guess you got it right. Awesome. So if you come back here, and if I run this, run this code, I should get one to one. And we got one to one. Perfect. Hope you understand it. This is how recursion works, right? So the cells that is not required or the work is done, it's deleted. If you need it again, it will be created again. It will not be there. It will not be stored there. Okay, so you'll say it's a waste of computer memory. It's not a proper use of recursion. Yes, and that is why we have a topic called dynamic algorithm, which will come later, which we'll see. Okay, how we can reuse it. Okay, but that's totally later. Okay, guys, so that's all for this particular video. Catch you up in the next video. Bye bye. Ta -ta. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before I say bye, please like, subscribe, and share my channel. Okay, and if you have any comments or any feedback or any doubts, do let me know in the comment section. Bye-bye. See you. Tata. Sashya.